Hello everyone, welcome to www.myonlineedu.com's video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will learn about data types in C programming and the operators available in C programming. So first, uh, we will discuss about the data type. In our last video, we have discussed about little bit on variable declaration, like what happens or how do you declare the variables. But in this video tutorial, we will see what the data type is. A data type is associated with a particular data or a variable that you declare. So what does it mean by data type is you basically, you know, there are different kinds of data available uh, to us, right? For example, numeric data. So uh, we can we can tell them something like that in like numeric data. And then we have the you know like the character data or the string characters or strings okay so these are the basic two types of data that is available and even in fact or even uh, there are numeric data there are different kinds of data that we have one is the integer data or the decimal data that we can say and second is our floating point integers you know which have a decimal values in it sorry this is the non decimal part and this is the decimal part Similarly, the characters are basically, you know, from A to Z, capital or small A to Z. So depending on this data, we have a different data type. Okay. So similarly, in C programming also, we have different kind of data type to define the data. So integers are de declared using int. Okay. Int is the data type it's, it's a basically a keyword we have learned what keyword is so integer data are defined or declared using int similarly the floating point numbers are declared using f l o a t so float is a keyword okay and then characters are defined using c h a r okay so again this this and this are the keywords and this keyword has a special meaning so when you declare a variable as int x okay so what what happens in, in the in the computer memory we have discussed that it puts a particular size of the memory block which in this case normally in this case is a two bytes of data since it's an integer okay now if you define and the name of this location is x so if you define another variable y with a float what happens in the memory it's, it takes four bytes of data okay and the name of this location memory location is y and this is basically four bytes and character z if you define what happens in the memory is the one byte of data one byte of memory location whose name is g is uh, z is defined so this is basically one byte so depending on the data type the size of the memory allocated to for that particular variable is fixed into that particular compiler okay so normally integers takes two bytes of data until and unless you know you have you are using 64 bit computers in 64 bit computers i believe uh, the integers are defined in 4 bytes but normally non 64 bit computers they allow the integers to be declared in a 2 bytes float 4 bytes so this is basically 2 bytes this is 4 bytes and characters are stored in a 1 byte So now, now we know what a data type is in C programming. We'll go over to that particular. You know, and okay, 
and we have one more you know uh, the double the, so the double is a double precision floating point value and void that is void also the void is nothing but a you know a valueless special purpose type which we'll examine closely in later sections but not now okay now going to the operators part so operators are the symbols which operates on value or a variable the entity on which an operator works is called operands okay so for example we know the plus sign that is an operator to it is basically used for an arithmetic operation basically to do as addition right the minus is to do a subtraction uh, multiplication division modulus plus plus is the increment and the minus minus is the decrement operator similarly is equal to is the assignment operator so there are different kinds of you know operator those are available over here so that is why these are called the arithmetic operators these are this is equal to sign is the assignment operator and these are called the relational operators we'll explore this relational operator more when we'll be discussing about the conditional statements okay uh, and also uh, this is called the logical operator these are called so this is basically the and logic this is for our or logic and this is for our not logic okay again we'll discuss this one uh, after after some times when we'll be you know covering up that particular um, conditional statements and conditional operators also bitwise operators are there but we'll not discuss it now it is little bit difficult to understand at this moment of time but we'll discuss it definitely at later and other operators like comma and amber address of operator which is ampersand sign so these are the operators you know you will you will be seeing this been used in printf statements scanf statements something like that and basically this is a very vital operator in c because the pointer concept on of c is basically you know uh, using this particular operator so keep this in mind and when we will be discussing the pointers we will see these operators use very you know very much and you must have seen by the by this time the some programming in c programming that this operator is used in your scanf statement right we write a scanf like this let's say percentage d then m percent x this m percent is nothing but this m percent is nothing but your address of operator okay so so being said that having said that so you know so let's see what are the arithmetic operators they they will do so as we know the plus sign is the additional uh, and it's it's the addition operator so it adds two operands so if we write a plus b what it what it does it's a is a operand b is a operand and plus sign is an operator and if the value of a is 10 and b has value of 20 then what it will give is is 30 the result will be 30 it's a simple arithmetic okay so similarly the subtraction operator subtract operator is this sign so we have discussed this we have discussed this which will give us the result of minus 10 the multiplication operator you know uh, it multiplies two operands and it will give the result as a 20 this is the division operator and b divided by a will give you 2 so this is the modulus operator modulus operator gives you the result of a remainder of an of a division okay so b mod a that means you know 20 divided by 10 and whatever the remainder is so in this case it's there is no remainder so that is why the zero is being there but let's let's assume that you know we are uh, writing something like this 25 mod 10 you know it will give me a result of 5 as you know the 5 will be the remainder so plus plus is the increment operator okay this is the increment operator if a value of a is 10 so a plus plus will give me 11 so what does it means is a is equal to a plus 1 so a will be incremented by 1 and then the same value will be assigned to a 
similarly the decrement operator it will give me a minus minus will give me 9 what does it mean is a is equal to a minus 1 okay so the 10 minus 1 is 9 and then the the subtraction result will be assigned to a itself so that is the uh, uh, you know basics of this arithmetic operator now let us go through the other operators that we have in our later section so thank you for watching this video and uh, have a good day thank you